Hello, welcome to the Platts Backus House. My name is Joanne Blanford and I'm on the board of Main Street Fort Pierce. With me is Marshall Adams. He is the director of the Backus Museum Gallery, which is right down the road from us. And we're here to tell you about this great house. Um, it was a place of positivity from the start and that begins with the story of the, the Platts family. They were from Michigan, Clara and Clyde Platts. They came down here in the uh, early eight, or the late 1800s by um, steamboat. That was about the only way to get here at that point. And it was right after the railroad came to town. Um, he was a physician for the railroad. They built this house around 1896. And from the get-go, they were a very energetic couple. Um, Dr. Platts, was, he, he was on his bicycle to go visit people, make house calls in town. He took his boat, the alligator, a little sailboat, if people were up and down the coast that needed his help, or he went by um, horse and buggy out west to people. So he also did a lot of other great things here in town. He started the first pharmacy um, with P.P. With P. Cobb, and um, he was the first superintendent of St. Lucie County Schools. So he was a, a great guy to have, a great family to have here in early Fort Pierce. Um, sadly, he passed away about 10 years after getting here. He was only 37 years old. And his wife, she stayed on, did a lot of great things here, and um, the family owned the house until the 1940s. After that, they sold it. It became a couple different things. It was a church at one point. It was a home for the Welfare Society here in town at another point. And around 1960, um, our local favorite landscape artist, A.E. Backus, bought the house. And I'm gonna turn this over to Marshall Adams and he's gonna tell us more about Mr. Backus. Sure. <laughs> or you. Beanie. As That's he, right, as Beanie <laughs> is a nickname that many people remembered him by. So we're standing right now in the room uh, in the Platts Backus house that he designated as his studio space. So uh, in 1959, being Bacchus was at a crossroads in his life. He was, um, his wife had passed away just a few years before. He was a widower by then. And um, he was, he built up his career. He was 53 um, in that year. And he built up his career. He was becoming very well known, but uh, the city of Fort Pierce was growing and they needed land for their new electric power plant on Moores Creek. And it was Bacchus who had the prime property way on the end of Old Avenue C, 103 Avenue C, which doesn't exist anymore. Uh, he was happy to sell um, that property to the city uh, and for his, his next residence, he realized that he needed to be in line of sight of his old studio home so that his clients could still find him. And so when 122 Avenue C was available for purchase, uh, he moved right in in 1960. Uh, beginning in that year, he uh, continued his, his life in this grand old uh, building. He uh, was known for having uh, uh, parties and happenings uh, uh, on, uh, on weekend evenings with jazz music and uh, lots of different people here, a bohemian uh, artistic lifestyle. Everyone knew that they were welcome and that his door was always open. That life and his career continued uh, here in his most fertile period uh, as an artist, uh, continuing to grow his uh, renown and his skills and, uh, and being in a great deal of demand uh, for his artwork. Uh, that commission book uh, grew and grew and uh, he continued up until the day he died in 1990, uh, having lived here for 30 years in this space. And there's a, a, a a facsimile of the last painting that he was working on uh, right in this room um, when he did pass away in June of 1990. So people remember this, uh, this house from those years as being uh, a place of positivity, of creativity, of excitement, of kindness and compassion. That door was open to anybody and everybody, no matter their circumstance, no matter their class, no matter their race. He was always happy to help somebody out, have a conversation with them, give them a little soup, give them a Coke, whatever uh, would be uh, helpful or, or needful to foster that sense of community that was so important to him and Fort Pierce. And in 2006, when Main Street was looking for a new home, um, this house was 
up for sale and we were looking for our newest restoration project. So this house was an important part of the Edgartown neighborhood and early Fort Pierce and Main Street Fort Pierce recognized that and now it's restored to almost its former glory. We wish Bacchus and Platts were still among us but it's, it's still a place of positivity and it will be for years to come. So thank you for joining us. Thank you.